Hi YouTube, welcome to my YouTube channel Easy Concepts. Today I'm going to take the topic of overriding and overloading in Java. So let us begin. Polymorphism is the ability to take many forms. In object-oriented programming language like Java, this allows object to be polymorphic. Now there are two ways to achieve this. One is through static binding or overloading and the other one is called dynamic binding or runtime polymorphism. Compile time polymorphism is also known as early binding or method overloading. As in this, we have a class having many methods which goes by the same method name but different parameter number and type. The parameter number has to be different otherwise program won't even compile because a class doesn't allow you to have more than one method with the same method name unless its parameter type or number differs. In right hand side we have a class called plant. Now this class plant has four methods and if you notice all of them have the same method name that's make food but the parameter type or number differs like the first one is having no parameters and the second one is having string as a parameter and third one is having two string as a parameter and the last one has a float and a string value as a parameter so what happens is when you create uh, the object of such class and try to invoke uh, the method if you'll call rows.makeFood it will invoke no parameter method which is the first one for second one it will invoke the second method here which is having only string as parameter and for the third one which takes two string as a parameter the third method will be invoked for the last one which takes a float and a string value as a parameter uh, the compiler will accordingly invoke the last method that is uh, the fourth one we just saw that which method to call is resolved at compile time by checking the parameters this is the reason why this is also known as compile time polymorphism and because methods are being overloaded it is also known as method overloading moving on to overriding overriding occurs in inheritance there is a, is a relation and both superclass and subclass have the exact same method with exact same method signature unlike overloading when the parameter types and number was required to be different in overriding the parameter types and number everything has to be same if you look at right hand side we have a class called plant and then we have a class called conifer which extend plant so this is a conifer is a subclass of plant which is its super class both have the method make food so these two methods are exactly same and only the implementation is different the make food method of plant does something else and make food method of the child that is conifer does something else overriding is also known as dynamic binding method overloading or runtime polymorphism because a which method to call is based on what object is referred by the reference variable and to know what object is referred can only be known at runtime and that's why it goes by the name of runtime polymorphism or late binding so let us go through this example to understand overriding in detail so here we have a class called plant and uh, which is a super class of the class called conifer and both have the same method make food with chat exact same method signature only the implementation is different so so when you create the object of parent class that is plant here in this line plant rows is equal to new plant and you call the rows method since rows is the object of parent class of type parent and it is also pointing to parent it invokes the method make food of parent and then when you create the object of child as in this line conifer c is equal to new conifer and you invoke the method c dot make food the child's make food method is invoked but what if you do upcast like here rows is a plant object and of type plant and you are trying to upcast it to a child's object so when you try to invoke 
make food method on this kind of object the compiler cannot understand it and it leaves it for the runtime and it is at the runtime that you come to know about what kind of object rose is if you see rose is of type parent but it is pointing to child's object the type decides what all methods you have access to and what you are referring to what the reference variable is pointing to it decides which implementation will be followed the object rose is of type parent it has access to make food method but only at runtime we can figure it out that it is referring to a conifer object and that's why if you do rose dot make food the implementation of conifer will be followed so let us run this example to see if it conforms to what i'm saying the first method we are running right so rose dot make food gives photosynthesis done which is pretty understandable in second line here when we do do c dot make food we are invoking child's make food method that is also understandable and here in upcasting when we are writing like rose equals to new conifer and invoke rose dot make food it invokes child's method that's because all the roses of type parent it is referring to the child's object so child's implementation of that particular method will be followed now this is polymorphism which allows a object to behave differently or be polymorphic depending on what its type is and what it is referring to thank you for watching easy concepts please subscribe like and comment for more tutorials and don't forget to ring the bell icon for more updates